a top two matchup. Austin looking to bounce back after that 29-14 right, loss go, there at Silverbacks Park in Atlanta last week, Time ending on. their five-game winning streak. New England having won two in a row. Backwards. Dougie Fife Backwards. batted into the hands of the star, Scott. Able to do just that, raises the flags, does pulling, and it's eight to nothing. Free Jacks on top, 13 minutes in. This is where Austin will be at their best, quick to the breakdown. The best attacking team in the league. They haven't had the opportunity to show it tonight. McCaffrey, show and go. Unable to get free. Now Mac Mason, wrapped up immediately by Regan O'Gorman, the former AG. Austin going the wrong way, and that one fortuitously finds itself in the hands of O'Keefe. O'Keefe in and down, dots it behind the post for the full seven. And sometimes better to be lucky than good. That pass deflected right into the hands of Mark O'Keefe. And the 27-year-old from Dublin has Austin on the board. O'Keefe with his fifth try of the year. And you see Lawrence, that was Ross. Brahe couldn't control it, but it went to O'Keefe and he did the rest. Yeah, Brahe just off the back shoulder, but a little bit of luck there is Lucky 13 in for the score. Referee Luke Rogan started to possibly look at, for the pocket there and does pull out the yellow. And that's going to go, I believe, against the captain, Bryce Campbell. We'll have to see if that was a one-two. You would imagine it would be Mason Cook coming on as the hooker and who will come off for Austin with Roach in the bin for 10. Poland with the penalty. No trouble. Right through. Sacks on and three for New England with a quick penalty. It's a cynical. He's gone to the... And uh, he's going to head to the bin. So Austin down not one but two men for the next four and a half minutes as Osberg heads to join Hugh Roach in the sin bin. Oakana up across midfield. Back with Boyle. Boyle, little show and go. Harrison Boyle across the 10. Boyle, the one-handed offload. He was looking for Johnston. Austin fans on their feet. Isaac Ross tackled by Secura. McCaffrey, Campbell, out to Elon Puttick. Unable to get through. Davidowitz first there. Now Peterson has it stolen away, ripped away by Vanderbank. Great job, Wayne Vanderbank able to win it back. LaRue Milan. Still on his feet, able to find Bellicana. Bellicana's going to be in for a free Jacks try. The full seven dotted down behind the post. Another line break from LaRue Milan no, and Paul Bellicana. But then after the turnover here, you see the rip and the free Jacks back on the march. Take a second look at the try here as the huge break. And the offload right at the 22 meter line and the speed to take it all the way in and extend that Free Jacks lead. All set up via the rip, the line break from LaRue Milan finds Bellicana back in the Lone Star State, the former Houston man. New England wants to make it two in a row. Roach offload to Peterson, the hitman finds his way. Mason brought down by Boyle. And Austin turns it over. Ross almost yeah. lost it. Find advantage. Advantage for the AGs. They're going to find a way through. Here comes O'Keefe. Absolutely electric. Mark O'Keefe. No support. Right, you are. Just that extra second. All that was needed. And another line out coming. Roach, long throw into the hands of Duvall. The eight man has it. Now McCaffrey across, show and go. And the number eight 
with the try for Austin. McCaffrey gets it from Duvall, and what a set piece worked by the AGs. McCaffrey, the vice captain, 32-year-old from Sydney, the former Brumbies man. You take a look at Duvall, rises to take it. And what a job for McCaffrey. 47 appearances for Leicester, the Tigers there in the Premiership before coming to Austin. And Mason nice slots it through, and it's a four-point game. New England 18, Austin 14. Set! Austin wins the scrub penalty. Attacks on another three. The penalty for Austin, and it is a one-point game. Well, not a bad backup as Josh Larson, generally the captain, the Parkersville BC native, coming on. He himself, the former Austin man, as he finds a way through. Right down across the 10, Austin fans on their feet, but it's Austin pinged. Inside the 22 are the Free Jacks. Milan again. Rue Milan, the Namibian, has been on fire tonight. No, 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 19. Rucks in. Stay there. Austin trying to get composed defensively. Wave after wave of free jack attack coming at the defense of the men in black and orange. Out to fight. Fight cuts in. And a Larson. Larson. Met by Dodson. Younger. Gorman. Younger organizing the troops out to Waka. Wilson, McDowell, out to Bastris, and cross and down. The youngster from Colorado comes on as a replacement, makes a huge impact, and finds the try for the Free Jacks. Huge steal from Slade McDowell that started this whole thing with the poach. You see a couple of offloads, beautifully done, well done in support. Thanks, buddy. Let's finish it off, Keeping right? things right at the middle of the pitch. And then they're able to swing it out to the far yeah, side. Yeah. Good hands, beat that final defender. Zinzan sucked in, and then they're over for the try. Bodine Waka, right down Main Street. I'm happy he was moving. Tim, you and I. And I'm thinking about Matthew is able to find a way through. Mason Peterson has the offload to Michael Duvall. Duvall with Wilson on his back, a cross and down. AG's not done yet. Roll one, stay there. Outside, Akina breaks free. Akina just six meters out. Ball went to deck there, over the top of it. And the final whistle blows. New England comes on the road. Hands Austin their first loss at home, second in a row. The Free Jacks with a massive victory, and the Lone Star State make it three wins in a row.